And, of course, that's Chris Okinda at the City Cabanas. Like I said, it will be amazing. You need to make your way there. And if you're there, have a good time. Elaine will be performing shortly. And, of course, over now to Niger's finest, the Oga boss himself, Desmond Elliott, is right here in studio. Welcome. Hey, how are you? Great. Thank you so Such much. Such a pleasure to have you right here in the studio. Pleasure. You know, Citizen TV is the home of Afro cinema. Yes. A lot of Nollywood yeah. is featured right here on Citizen TV. Firstly, it's my pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I mean, having you do this, oh my God. Great. I'm like sitting with Oprah right now. <laughs> wow, thank you. Yeah. Those are big shoes, but thank you. Well, thank your shoes you. can always be the same, so. So Desmond, yes. um, you are a household name here in Kenya. This is your first time here? Have you been here before? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. This is like a second home. I'm always here. Okay. I think it was just last year I didn't show up, mm -hmm. but I've always been here every year for the last five years. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about your journey. You're known as this prominent actor um, who has featured in so many films, so many movies in, right. in, in Nigeria. Um, and your character is usually bad boy player. Is it? Yes, it is. Really? <laughs> Let's talk about your journey, um, acting. How long has it been? Well, this is pretty much my 15th year. Mm -hmm. um, it's been, it's been a, a, a tough ride. Mm -hmm. But in the end, you know, as the good book says, the end is always better than the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know, in the end, it's way better. Um, in the last six years, I have ventured into producing and directing. Mm -hmm. So I've done more of producing and directing. I still act, but now it's more about giving back to the younger generation and trying to build more actors because I've always felt that you must have something to circulate. The new generation has to be better than the old generation. Okay. You know, what we can give as the older generation is mm -hmm. foresight. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, creativity, innovation, being sparked in the mind okay. it always goes with the younger generation so from acting to this transition now um producing That's directing correct. Correct. um why that switch has it been a challenge for you just adjusting to huge that huge challenge mm -hmm. firstly it pays a whole lot to be an actor you know in the nigerian setting and i think pr pretty much almost everywhere so and the work is way less mm -hmm. all you just all you need to do is yeah, get your diva, scripts, makeup get your makeup <laughs> yeah. get your wardrobe mm -hmm. and the box starts coming yeah. and um with nigeria it's pretty quick you know in a month you could do like two or three flicks yeah and then yeah you go home smiling yeah now you're producing and directing means from the beginning of the script mm -hmm. to the end of the post-production you are in charge yes you know the film sells good film doesn't sell you owe the bank mm -hmm. or something so yeah it's, so. it's tougher but it's more rewarding for me and more fulfilling okay. because at this point I can raise people um, I can groom people mm -hmm. and then you know I have substance okay yeah so Nollywood uh, Desmond is bigger than the shores of Nigeria That's why good. are people enjoying the Nigerian story so much why is it selling worldwide if you ask me I think is because we are true to culture we know we've been taught English. English is not our language, but then we speak the broken English. Pigeon. Pigeon English, or mm. we call it the broken English, yeah. which actually wasn't even originally Nigerian. Mm. Well, because Nigerian people are usually very crazy, <laughs> we now made it our own, yeah. you know, and then we're true to culture. We do all those nuances. We're uh -huh. not afraid of who we are, being proud of who we are, which pretty much is like what the Kenyans are. Okay. So what's the difference? Why is it so different? I think now it has to do with we realizing that this is our own mm -hmm. and we have to own it. Okay. So it starts with we believing in what we have. Mm -hmm. the, the film, Nigerian film industry didn't just go outside like that. It started with Nigerians loving it first, mm -hmm. taking it, accepting it, good, bad, ugly, or whatever it is. Right. I mean, between you and I, we agree that quality, well, just before now, quality has really been terrible. Mm -hmm. It's been nothing to write home about. Mm -hmm. But storylines have been original. Okay. We're not trying to do the guns and trying to jump through hills. Oh. We're just doing the Nigerian story. <laughs> yeah. I want to marry you, you want to marry me. My mother says, no, there is Juju at the corner. There's oh. one voodoo somewhere. I, I, well, I didn't do that, but you know, and then we do the raw African love. Mm -hmm. I love you, you love me. Okay, let's do it. Okay, you know? so, but don't you feel um, that that um, concentration on your culture, the Juju, the Tofauka, that you know, that that restricts you to the African market because we probably here in Kenya can relate to some of those things. People in perhaps um, other parts of Africa can relate to some of those things. The Caribbeans. That yeah. Does that restrict you to the African market? You see, in the end, I would have said yes. 
Now, do not forget, we do not only do juju and voodoo. But yes, they do exist. And we do them because they exist. Oh. If they didn't exist, people wouldn't buy them, you know, and get warned. And sometimes these stories are upshoots of things that really happened before. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't do juju films mm -hmm. or all those kind of, um, kind of films. Not that I, I pretty much sometimes don't watch them, but they do happen. Now, the truth is, in as much as Africans like it, foreigners like it as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I have been to countries where I get people surprisingly realize, know me. And it's not even in Africa. I'm talking of Europe and even, even the Americas. Right. So, yeah, uh, you know, I think it's spread mm -hmm. broad. So Nigeria, Nollywood is dominant worldwide, like you just said. Um, do you think the nature of stories that are being told is changing? Um, you know, as 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 of course Nigeria grows, as the economy grows, I as agree. film yes. grows, is it changing? No doubt about that. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because um, everybody's becoming more aware. Secondly, um, we take feedbacks from what the public wants, and you know, there's different genres for anybody. So you want the juju one, you know where to get it. You want the love stories. You want the ones with higher quality and, you know, just home family feel. So it's now breaking itself down into different stratas and, uh -huh. and categories, right. you know. And we've, we're at that position right now. Okay. The only thing we need to do is um, institute issues about piracy mm -hmm. and stuff that really needs to be handled. Okay. But first and foremost, I'm a believer of conquering your world. So let's conquer Africa with kind of stories we do. Mm -hmm. Let's make them better. Let's, let's stop the mediocre feel of writing stories okay. and just write serious things. Yeah, quality of productions, what are your thoughts on that? It's getting better. It's way better now. Mm. It, like in Nigeria now, a lot of us have gone through trainings, um, technical. It's mm -hmm. mostly the problem is, has not really not been the actors. Right. It's the technical work, you know. And now it's getting way, way, way better, mm -hmm. you know. And now we now do things on DVDs other than VCDs. Not to say the VCD markets do not exist. They do exist. Mm -hmm. But we now have something higher. So it means if you're a mid, uh, middle class or upper class, you won't watch a Nigerian film, you go for your DVDs. Mm -hmm. Or lower class and the grassroots, you go for your VCDs. Yeah. And then you, it just cuts. Everybody now has its levels and knows what to watch. Okay. Yeah. And critics have it that the Desmond Elliots of this world have hogged the limelight for the longest. And yet... Uh, you know, and not just you, but then we, we know these household names that have been in the game the longest and really have not created room for upcoming artists or um, um, actors to grow in the industry. Why is this? Do you agree? Is that unfair? No, well, it's, it's not fair, but even as a rising actor, mm -hmm. I'm even talking about just trying to get roles, two, three scenes, four scenes. I've had to ask, most of the problem is the reason why most of these upcoming actors want to act. What's your reason? Some people, they just want to be stars. Okay, fine, not a bad idea, but what's your first reason to want to be an actor? Is it because you feel you want to do something to contribute to the economy or do whatever? You know, you want to make your nation proud uh -huh. or whatever. So the reason why you're coming initially is very important. Then the second thing is, it's, it's an evolving world. Now, for me, you must have a vision for why you're in the industry. For me, it's to build minds, it's to build people. So I don't care if you're black, white, green, blue, or yellow. What I do is, if you're good, you have the stuff I need, I put you in my film, mm -hmm. period. Right. Where do you want to take film? What's your vision in Nigeria? I was asked this 14 years ago when I came into acting and I went for an audition. And the guy said, what's your vision of Nollywood? Mm. And I said, it's to make Nollywood the Hollywood of Africa. It's a dream that's never left me. I am so passionate about the film industry is it struggles between home and me and i would have to sit my wife down almost every time to say hey woman this is my life mm. you understand you need to be there oh why did i the kind of man i wanted is the kind of man that would be at home i say i'm not nine to five yeah i am maybe 6 a.m to 2 a.m in the morning of the next day now it's because there's something i'm moving at i'm mm. pushing somewhere mm -hmm. this film business must succeed mm -hmm. and it's succeeding and then it's creating the greatest image you can ever think of. Because now they want to know Nigeria, they look, oh, look at that house. Yeah. <gasps> you mean there's this car there? It's very flashy. Oh, you mean this is this? Yes. Mm. That's what America does. Mm -hmm. they, they, they bring out and they make you look like it's the cleanest nation. Mm. I took my son to America and he <laughs> saw, I had to, it took me two days to convince that boy. Yeah. Because what he's been watching on TV yeah. is different from what he's seen in real life. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's what, that's the power of filmmaking. It brings out to the world and gives them a different image about 
what your country looks like. Mm -hmm. no, positively, yes, right, of course. Right. You know. And you know, here on Citizen TV, Desmond, we're telling the Kenyan story. We've got a lot of local productions. Um, a lot of the things that, 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 it, that are going on in the society, those are the stories that are told in a lot of our productions here. Um, but have you interacted with Kenyan filmmakers? Have you been able to just observe mm. um, the Kenyan film industry? And what are your thoughts on our industry? Firstly, yes, three years ago, when I came, we were at, um, I think, the Safari, uh, that place close to the American School. Safari, oh. one big hotel, nice. Safari uh, Park. Yes, so. yes, Safari Park. Mm -hmm. So we're there and we, we interacted. Right. Now, I've always loved Kenyan productions for their technical work. Do you understand? Mm. For the technical work. And one more thing, I, and good, good thing, I'm actually doing a, um, a soap opera here now. Okay. You know, and a beautiful one by mm -hmm. Triple Edge. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. Okay. Amazing. The thing there, I, like I say to the actors, is be yourself. Now, you must make sure that when you're doing a film production, you bring out whatever it is, your constituency, county, whatever it is, in the best light. Okay. Because anybody can see it. Mm -hmm. So by the time you begin to sell these things, and you begin to mix it with culture, mm -hmm. which I think you do, but now do it intentionally for the fact that you might export that content. Okay. Because anything you do is serious business, mm -hmm. you know, so. Now, um, okay, and away from that, despite your fame and success, Desmond, you're one of the few actors who, um, who's married, I mean, like really, a lot of a lot of superstars, a lot of a lot of celebrities have a bit of a controversial personal life, but yours, your marriage has been intact. You're able to be this actor, and like you said, when you go home, you're able to be <coughs> the husband as well. Let's talk about that and what it is, just juggling all of this. I what think it, it starts it with like. how you grow. You know, it starts with how you grow and what you really want in life. For me, like I said. The plan wasn't to be a star, but to make it as an actor, you, you just have to be a star, you know? And then I've always loved the concept of the home. Family, wife, kids, coming and a child slapping you. <laughs> I came home one day and my daughter, three years, just said to me, I, I want to leave Nigeria. You know, why would you be happy when you hear such things? And then your kids are there, you're playing the game, and you're just watching all of them different. Oh, by the way, I have two sets of twins. Wow. So I'm just seeing two different... That's a blessing. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed. Two sets of twins, girls, boys? <laughs> um, three, two boys and a boy and a girl, you know? Oh. So, yeah. So you, you just see different characters uh -huh. from people who just came in the same day, and it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you love that? Yeah. Besides, having a family front gives you some good form of responsibility uh -huh. and makes you really responsible to people because you're in an industry where anything can happen. Yeah, because it's crazy. You can never see normal people mm -hmm. in the kind of business we do. Yeah. So you just need that thing to take you back to say, okay, now you relax, cool down. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. and you know, so home front is good, and I give kudos mostly to the women. Mm -hmm. They're very strong people. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it takes a strong woman yes. to have to deal with this male celebrity husband, who obviously. Women well, she says to me, mm -mm -mm, and <laughs> "Don't bring this star thing to the household." <laughs> she tells me all the time. You know, she tells me. Told my mother one day, ooh, she called me by my native name, Shola. She said, "Mom, is it not Shola? Shola that I know." You, it's me you want to do stuff for. <laughs> Please, mommy, let's say something else. You know, yeah, you know, because the point is, at the end of the day, when you go back home or wherever you are, you're still human. And Nigerian women harsher than, than the Kenyan women because we're, we're slightly more, you know, not submissive. I wouldn't say submissive, but we're not all up in your face like... I think generally, I've always said this, we're what? We're too many. <laughs> And the weather is hot. <laughs> so what do you expect? You expect you can't expect very sane human beings. Yeah. So everybody is. Don't try me. Yeah. If you try me here, what I'll do to you? You will <laughs> remember where your father gave birth to you. You know all those things. So is the beauty of that conversation yeah. that people see and say, these guys are insane. Mm -hmm. These people are just crazy. <laughs> and it's very aggressive. It's a bit hard to make it in Nigeria, which that's is the why point. a lot of our, our actors have tried to come there and then just, you know, make but it. we have Lizzie himself. over there, and Lizzie has been she, able to blend. She did try, she did do a good job, yeah. yeah. So but that's I, one. You know what, you know what, I've seen so many talents. Mm. I've tried so hard, there's this other lady, uh, B, uh, Piera, I've tried yeah, so hard yeah. to bring her back, mm -hmm. to bring her there, mm. you know. Uh, but the truth is, we also need to have some form of synergy, some form of truce, some form of pact, contract, between Nigeria, Kenya, 
I've always said that these are the two biggest nations for these regions mm. where they exist. Oh, great. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And that was why I didn't think twice when it came to, oh, Desmond, we have a soap. Would you like, where? Kenya? Hey, yes, I'm coming. Mm. Because this is what I've hoped for. Okay. So what we need is where the government comes to play mm -hmm. on both ends. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have people here. We have people here. How do we do it? How can we make sure hotel, airports, um, airline tickets, these things are being done easily so okay. we can have a free flow of, of talents. Okay. And it will work better. Great. And, and you know, just, um, you know, going back to just what you said, you should be our ambassador. We're playing Niger movies here. We're playing Nollywood right here on Citizen TV. So perhaps it's now on you. It's, your, it's on your honors to take us, to take Kenya to Nigeria. S That's for, us, for starters, yeah. I'm here now. Yeah. You know, uh, doing what are you doing in Kenya, by the way? Beautiful soap opera called yes. Santalal. Okay. And I've met amazing actors. Mm -hmm amazing actors true to themselves mm -hmm. doing their thing and feeling the feel of the flow Kenyan and actors Kenyan actors I'm the yeah. only foreigner playing a Nigerian actually mm. so I have all the freedom to use my Nigerian tongue <laughs> and you know uh, tongue as you call it here yeah. so I call it tongue yeah. and then you know say my Nigerian nuances you know chai chineke yeah. ah, I don't die all those kind of things so <laughs> it moves with the flow and it makes it quite interesting okay. which is what I'm saying and then you're talking and this woman is saying and it's beautiful so yes i do okay. hope it happens sometime great um and word on the street has it that you're venturing into politics ah. let's talk about that as we close desmond all right that, well, that's totally different from the <laughs> directing and the acting and the producing but you see they all come in in place because mm -hmm. at the end of the day as an as a well, celeb, African, Nigerian celebrity, celebrity, what we do is we also give back to society. But, you know, I think I've gotten to the point where I need to do that thing from a governmental point of view, where we can attract more to help my constituency. You know, I'm from Lagos State, I'm Yoruba, and then, you know, it's time to give back. It's time to do a whole lot. Mm -hmm. It's time for corporate bodies to now invest into the people where they've made the money from, okay. you know? And if we don't have people like us to say, okay, we need to stand and we need to do these things. Mm -hmm. and we need to talk to them, insurance for the, for, the, for the sick, for the elderly, all these things can work. And while you're at that, you'll be supporting film as well, I assume. I mean, it doesn't, there's no way I can be in government and have piracy rule. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. So when do campaigns start? When are we um, starting to see you, you actually hear? declare <laughs> that this is what you're going for? What seat in particular are you this going month. for? Okay, well, we have, um, it's what you call county reps here. You know, it's always good to start from the scratch. Okay, so that's good. That's, that's like humble. starting from the scratch for me. <laughs> yeah. Because I need to learn the ropes. I need to learn where it is, to know all those things and they do. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you know, it's called, we call it a house. Of, of assembly. Okay. Um, so I'm running Lagos State House of Assembly, okay. representing Sulere, hopefully by the grace of God. So Kenyans, pray for me. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> all the best, all the best. We'll be praying for you, Desmond. Yeah. Okay. And of course, uh, as we close, who's your favorite Nigerian um, Nigerian musician? Here we know David O, we know, um, I mean, there's everybody who's singing Nigerian music. The clubs are playing Nigerian it's music. It's crazy, isn't insanely. it? Insanely. Yes. And guess what? It's all over. Yeah. It's because. I travel everywhere. It's all over. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I love the video. I love Aye. Mm -hmm. um, I love whiskey. Aye, I love Aye too. It's my favorite. I love Aye. Yeah. I, I'm, I go crazy for Aye. I know. Um, Are you a good dancer? I try. Okay. I, I wouldn't try. expect you to say that. <laughs> no, well, I try. Yeah. I, I love whiskey as well. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy about Timaya. And um, a host of, there's this new one. It's going to take a while for you guys to accept him. It's called Orisha Femi as well. I haven't heard, I uh, haven't heard about him. And then the we, had Shea, we had Shea Shea here in studio. Lovely. The and you yeah. know the Robuchi as well from the um, Maybe, mm -hmm. which is on Don Jazzy. Okay. Yes. Now, the good thing is we've accepted them and they're, they're awesome. So, who makes more, the actors or the musicians? I'd say the musicians. The musicians. And then his relative. Okay. Because they need to have appearances. Now, they can just go for three minutes and make as much as $50,000, $80,000. That's where the Nigerian musicians, that's what they're getting paid. In three minutes. In, In three minutes. That, an like, appearance. Just do your show. $50,000. Is that that much? But we will probably have to work for like two months mm. <laughs> or more no, to be being as, actors, as actors to do it. But okay. yeah, relatively, yes. Okay. You know. All right, Desmond. And as we close, what... Does it, what haven't you ever told anybody in any show? Something that people will be amazed to know about you. Something that not a lot of people wow. know about you. Maybe apart from your wife or your kids or your mom. 
So you're asking me, yeah. right here, right here, in Citizens Television, <laughs> to tell you a secret yeah. that the whole Africa, yeah. East Africa, West, will hear. Please don't blast me. Hmm. No, you are not serious. I am. No, I don't have any secrets. Really? The secret is I have no secret. Nothing. Secretless. Smart answer. Aye. Very you, smart answer. Sit down there. It's not politics. <laughs> we have no secrets. <laughs> it's because you're going to be a politician soon. Well, so you don't want to say anything that you'll be quoted on. Well, I don't know if it's a secret, but I love Kenya. Oh, thank you. I love Kenya. Kenya loves you. Kenya loves Desmond I, Elliott. I, Twitter and our double two for double two is I kept retweeting. Up. As you tweeted, I kept retweeting. Retwe yeah. I mean, and his Twitter fun. handle is at Des Elliott. At Des Elliott. Des Elliott. Uh, Instagram is Desmond Elliott. Okay. Facebook, Desmond Elliott. Yeah. My house, Desmond Elliott. <laughs> and me, Desmond Idiot. Oh, no, oh, sorry, okay. Elliott. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for coming through, Desmond <laughs> Elliott. And Can I say thanks to people who actually made this happen? Absolutely. Real quickly, please. Mm -hmm. I want to say this to Vicky and her team. Yeah. Lovely people. Triple Edge, you guys are doing it. Benga Coyote, my very good friend. Someone I've come to really love as a brother. God bless you too. And to the actors. Mm -hmm. Ah, um, Gerald. Um, Santalal girl, oh my God, what's her name? <laughs> now you see, you can forget these things. And then the, the crew, Irene, and um, oh my God, please don't hate me tomorrow, but I love you all. You guys are great people. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, so, thank you much. so much. And somebody was actually saying that you're quite God-fearing. A lot of a lot of people have said that you're one of the actors that, that is very spiritual. That is I'm not there. a saint, mm -hmm. but I love God. Amen. I would never be where I'm, I am today without him. That's why I'm not afraid of anything, not mm. even death. Mm. Because I know he's taken me. I don't have two heads. So if he could have chosen me out of the multitude to be where I'm at, hey, I give him my life. I love how humble you stars are. Thank you so much Appreciate for it. gracing our screens. And of course, I must thank our production manager, Latifa Gonjeri. She played a big part in, in just making sure that you were able to be with us here today. So thank you so much, Latifa, Appreciate for it. that. And thank, thank you, Desmond, for coming. My pleasure. And you know, here we say Afro Cinema continues shortly. So catch Afro Cinema. Hello. Desmond Elliott, of course, you probably know everything he's played a role in. And he says he's not that playboy that he is in, in most of those movies. No. Family man he is grounded. Thank you so much for Appreciate your time. Appreciate it, ma'am. Yeah, we're taking a short break. We'll be right back. Thank you.